Hi guys, I hope you are good. Thanks for clicking on this video. So uh, we are still talking about some topics related to the teaching profession and in general and teaching of English in particular. So uh, these series of episodes are very essential for future teachers, those who want to apply for teaching profession, either in the public sector or private sector. So uh, today's episode, we are going to talk about the classroom teaching, types of classroom teaching. So um, in general, when we talk about classroom teachings, teaching, we can talk about either the cooperative um, classroom or traditional classroom. So these are two types of classroom that we are going to deal with today in this episode. Cooperative classroom and traditional classroom. The differences between the two and which one you have to apply and implement in your teaching. Okay. All right. Let's start with cooperative classroom. So when we talk about cooperative classroom, so by this name cooperative, there is a kind of cooperation and collaboration between students. So it is an instructional strategy for learning. And in this classroom teach students work together they work together to help each other to learn from each other and to boost what we call the autonomous learning so this classroom boosts the autonomous learning and it is 100 percent student centered okay so it is student centered classroom cooperative classroom and as i said by the name cooperative which means to cooperate to work together, to help each other, and so on and so forth. In cooperative classroom, again, we have a lot of activities, we have tasks, we have maybe games. So uh, students are very active, which means they are not just listening to the teacher, they are engaged in activities, tasks, and games, as I said. Also, another very important idea that you have to learn about um, cooperative learning is that the TTT or the teacher talking time is there is a little bit low is not high maybe like other kinds of classrooms so cooperative classroom is directed mainly for autonomous learning for helping students learn from each other work together and uh, engage in activities and tasks and so on all right so this is number one type number one cooperative classroom on the other hand we can talk about traditional classroom and it is traditional in this classroom the teacher is always a sage on stage which means is the teacher is everything is the one who talks is the one who explains is the one who gives everything to students we can say the teacher spoons feed okay the spoon feeding it's something to do with spoon feeding which means the teacher gives everything to students and as long as the teacher is a sage on stage as i said the students are 100% passive and not active. And if we say, and when we say that students are passive, which means uh, there are there is lack of uh, activities, of uh, maybe games, of tasks that can help students work together and um, learn from each other. Here again, in the traditional classroom, the only work we have is individual work. Not like in cooperative classroom, we can have um, peer work, we can have group work and so on. But in traditional classroom, the only mode of work we have is individual. Uh, also, we can talk about the use of talk and talk. And when they say the talk and talk, this means that the teacher is only explaining and writing on the board. Students are only listening and maybe asking and answering some questions, the teacher's questions. So this is what the traditional um, classroom is all about. So students in this classroom are 100% passive, which means they are not engaging in activities. Um, they are not working together and so on, but cooperative is another thing. So here the idea that I'd like you to know is that you as a future teacher or maybe a nervous teacher or a teacher, you have to decide which classroom is the appropriate one and why and which one is also better. So this is something that you have to think about yourselves and try to come up with an idea, okay, with an idea which one to implement in your classroom and why. For example, if you if you uh, like the cooperative classroom, why? And if you like the, the traditional classroom, again, why? So this episode will help you to have an idea or to answer 
this question why this or why and why not that okay so uh, i hope you got an idea from this episode see you in another episode with another topic have a good time and by the way i wish you good luck if you have any question or suggestion don't hesitate to let me know in the comments see you in another episode have a good time and goodbye